Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Tiger Knight. For the second video, I want to show off the Epic War, as they call it, which is just going to be um, us humans versus the AI. And the ones that I've played so far have been sieging the walls of a fortress so far, so hopefully that's what we get here, because it's actually it's pretty cool. So let's just jump into it. We're going to have to do an easy one, because normal mode requires a soldier level to be 5, and you can see my max one right here is uh, only 3. But... It's fine. Let's just jump into this one with Han Hao as our officer. Han Xian Di, Chuping Yuan Nian, Changsha Tai Shou Sun Jian, Hui Tong, Zhu Hou Lian Jun Shu Wan, Jing Gong Luo Yang, Tao Fa Dong Zhuo. Dong Zhuo Liu Lu Bu Jun, Zhu Shou Hu Lao Guan, Zu Dang Sun Jian, Zi Lin, Da Jun Zai Hou. So in the beginning of these epic wars, each of the players are going to duel a bot, basically. And so right now we are watching one of the players, left one here, Prepare to and engage. they're going to duel this bot. And I think all five of us have to duel a bot to try and kill this enemy officer and then the actual battle will start. And honestly this part's kind of boring, so I'll show off this one duel just so you can see what it looks like from this one person. I'm not even going to show off mine because it's just, you're fighting a bot, like it's not too exciting. The epic war part is, though, because then we can control of our troops and get to charge that castle over there. But I'm guessing this yeah. was just like a a thing that happened back in those days. Officers would duel before the fight even started. Yeah. Listen, I'm not an historian. Huh. Yeah. Oh no, your horse! So there you go, and all of us are going to have to do that, we need to kill five enemy generals before the battle starts. So I'm going to just cut it here, and I will see you in the actual battle. You know what, I, I changed my mind, I will show this part, because the main enemy leader, I think this, yeah this is Lu Bu, actually just came out to fight all of us at the same time, so you know what, I'm going to show this one. And I guess I only have two other allies here. Woo Lu Bu! It's Lubu! I'm only familiar with him because I have played many Dice Wars games. And watched the drama, the, um, what's it called? Romance of Three Kingdoms? The Three Kingdoms? I can't remember. It's a very long series. I, I found it on YouTube. It's in uh, Chinese with subtitles, but it's pretty good. I watched like 50 episodes. And it details the, you know, the story of this era. My horse! Take my paddle, Lubu! Oh. There we go. Now we're gonna get to the, the actual fight. Oh no, you got left behind. Alright, my fellow paddle wielders. I think we're just pushing this. Infantry attack from the left side and protect the aerial ladder. Is that what they're calling this? An aerial ladder? Let's get into a tighter formation. So 
gonna have enemy uh, seeds shooting at us that lead us with these red circles are. Oh my god, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Ladder. Siege equipment is ready. Oh, okay, cool. cool. Alright, let's go back to the siege equipment. Come, friends. lost one soldier you can see the little helmet icon in the bottom middle I believe we have 20 down the drawbridge like the main person in the city okay well I mean first I think we have to wait for this aerial ladder Am I healing? Oh yeah, we are, we are. Hopefully our soldiers are as well. I'm gonna need to get to a reinforcement flag to get my numbers back. I don't know if there is one on this map or not. roll with this leopard person here. Because it looks like he has an archer squad. So we're going to have to be the ones to keep people off of him. Right, I don't think we're going to be bringing a horse up on the walls. Thank you, horse. You've done me well. Oh, oh. I'm gonna get my shield out of here. Brutal swing! We gotta get back here and load the drawbridge. Yes! Press forward! We only have nine soldiers left. Keep pressing forward.
They got their horses. All right, we're almost there. Protect me, friends. All right, our archer buddy, I think, is over where we go. Oh God. Jeez! Stuck in a corner! I am straight up out of soldiers. Alright, we got friends now. My oh god, those arches from the other side. see so we got I got a horse and a parrying heavy sword shield guard Wow you have to hit with the very tip of this weapon uh, let's see if you fail to choose your rewards the system will randomly choose one for you which can be received at your mailbox trophy will be sent to storage in default oh okay yeah yes we got a horse flute I don't know what the hell a horse. I think that makes your horse go faster for a brief period of time. Okay, cool. Victory. Got some experience. Got some money. Okay. Let's see return. So let's go to storage. Horse. Hmm. There's our horse flute. Oh, to summon the Zhi Yi horse. Okay. We'll equip that down here. We can equip up to four items. This is the thing that makes them go faster. Supply pack. We got fire arrow heads. Use it to make burning damage on the target. Okay. That's cool. We got a lot of burning arrow heads. And use this time to increase the reward by 50% for the soldiers you bring into the battle for the next two victorious battles. Yeah, let's use that. Okay. But I did not seem to get... What are, what are those trophies then? Weird. It said trophies would be sent to storage, right? Hmm. Well. Okay, that's fine. That went by quicker than I had intended, so let's go and just play another normal command mode, I think? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, but before that, we let's go into upgrades, see if we can do anything with... No, we have many, many prestige points to get. Even to just get the archers, too, still. Yeah, there's nothing else really to grab here. I guess I could show off another soldier type, but I only have level 1 soldiers in these two. Um, we can try Wei. Let's see. Wei, let's buy this armor. Oh, I could buy it for myself, which I don't want to. Unlock straw sandals, sure. And then we have to pay for the straw sandals, equip it to them. Same thing for all this other equipment, so we gotta unlock it, then pay for it. And then from this screen, we can also unlock it for ourselves, but I think I already have better stuff than what this is. Uh, no, actually, I don't think we're gonna spend anything on this. I don't plan on using these guys for too long. And we need to go down this route to unlock the next tier. So what is this? Hardwood. Militia damage of polearm weapons plus 10%. Okay, so we upgraded that. 
I think this is, yeah, I already bought the shovel for them. It would just be buying it for me. And then buy a wooden spear for the militia. Okay, so now that's equipped as well. And now we're kind of in the same boat. We will need more experience to get to the spear sergeant level, which would be garrison spears. High health, poor morale. But they do have pike wall. That's kind of cool. Because these, these guys don't have any special skills at all. Interesting. All right, yeah, let's bring those guys in the next battle. Um, so it'd be these dudes. Yeah. Before we actually jump into that battle, um, I was re-equipping my character, and I kind of forgot to mention the system here of how there are different types of armor. So there are three different types. We have cloth, leather, and metal. So you can kind of see... It may be hard to see in the video, but next to cloth defense, it says it's strong against crushing, weak against piercing. Leather is strong against piercing, weak against slashing. And then metal is weak against crushing, strong against slashing. I forgot to mention that. So I was re-equipping re my guy to have some armor in as many different categories as I can. Uh, so just be aware of that as well. And the weapons, obviously, they do different type of damage. Like this is the hammer symbol, so it does crushing. And that's why I also have a sword, because that does uh, slashing to try and counter two different types of uh, armor types. Just wanted to touch on that briefly because I totally forgot to mention that in the first video, which is my bad. But anyway, let's jump into the uh, battle now. Here we are at the Battle of Red Cliff. Let's see, we have two crossbow militia, garrison spears, which are better than mine, and then me. So a lot of, all of our melee is like high health, low morale, I think. So I guess we really just need to protect the crossbow militia. Um, let's see, what if I do that? And I'll see how I go for this point. I think this is the reinforcement flag on this map. I think. It doesn't appear anyone else wants to put down their starting zone. Okay. That's fine. You know, it's cool. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, so we have an archer over here. Prepare to engage. So I'm going to try and charge with my horse and try and blitz that flag in the bottom right of the minimap and try and capture before the enemy gets there. It looks like my archer friend is going to follow me, so I need to keep that in mind. If we get in trouble, I need to make sure that they are protected. The sight is in the front. That fire looks pretty good. The site. The enemy has occupied the site. Capture. Our army is shaken. It looks like they are blitzing up our right side. We have taken the site. I think you just got a buff. The site is in the front. This is going to be an archer, so we're going to get in there. Now kill! These archers are not protected! That person did not defend themselves. And now you get a sword. No, they killed my horse. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, well now we're going to go back. And I'm gonna go down the mid. Oh, follow me, follow me, follow me. I forgot my army was still on raid stance, which means they're going to charge the enemy camp. I want to help our ally here in the middle. Actually, I think I'm going to go grab some reinforcements from this middle camp. Because we lost some soldiers there. Good luck, friend. I'll be there shortly. We have taken 
into sight. All right, let's go get some more soldiers. All right, we got our soldiers back. We have crossbows. Now we're gonna come behind the enemy here. Yes. And their officer. Alright, so now we want to go to the right and try and assist our allies on the other set of boats. Charge, my friends! I'm coming! Oh, I think I knocked out my ally. It's fine. What the hell? Where are you going? You're going nowhere! Oh! Triple kill. Alright, there are still more enemies though. Oh, this person just needs to be finished off. Don't worry, friend. I'm here. See you in the afterlife. Our victory is months away. Kazook, Kazook. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Good game, friends. Good game. I will take it, MVP. Got a ton of experience there because I actually, in my inbox, I had a bunch of uh, VIP cards. Because each time they do a maintenance, they seem to give out VIP cards, which gives you like experience boosts and things for free. And I just had a bunch in my inbox because, like I said, I played this back in October and like November. And then I just put it down because I wanted to come back when the Roman faction hit. And I just had all these VIP cards in there. I'm like, well, I guess it's time to get some extra experience and money and stuff. Um, so be mindful of that. Check your inboxes, I guess. Alright, so that was a beautiful victory. That's going to do it for this uh, video, everybody. We had a victory for the Epic War and then a pretty good victory for the Command Mode. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day.